welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by in my car to see what I'm up to today <clears throat> pardon me I haven't talked to a human in a while <laughs> uh, and what I'm up to today is I'm heading to Hobby Lobby but I'm heading through I wish I could turn my camera around I have an, an uh, iPhone X and I can't, I don't have a way to turn my phone around to show you where I'm driving. But if y'all could see it, I'm, I'm on a beautiful road here in Spotsylvania County. And the trees are almost like a canopy. You can probably see the, the, the shadows and stuff going by. It's almost like a canopy that covers the whole road. It is absolutely beautiful. We live in such, I live in such a pretty state. I'm, I'm, you know, I really, really do. Excuse uh, my mess in the back there. That's my quilt uh, that I'm going to actually take to Goodwill. And I put it in here because I didn't want to take it downstairs and store it down there because I'd forget about it. So I put it in my car. So at times like this, I'd look at my rear view mirror and I'd see it back there and go, I got to stop at Goodwill, but I'm going to take that to Goodwill because I don't think I'm ever going to use it again. And it is, you know, it's still in pretty good shape, but it is like six years old. So whatever, I think I'm going to take it there. Uh, but I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby because I have got a wild hair. I've got decorating to finish, y'all, <laughs> in my blue and white series. Uh, but I, I have got florals abounding, and it has been driving me crazy that I'm not organized in my garage. So uh, Liz, I was watching her video where she showed her storage room last week. And she inspired me. Wicker is on sale at Hobby Lobby. So I think I'm going to go and see if I can find two or three big, kind of big baskets and some smaller size baskets. And I'm going to see if I can get my florals organized. And I have some new room out in the garage now. And that is on top of my big old refrigerator. My old refrigerator was a big hootin' mama. And we've got it sitting in the garage now with nothing on top of it. And I said, Chris, do you mind if I utilize that space for my florals? You know, if I put baskets of florals up there. And he says, heck no, I don't care. That's fine. That's a good idea, Arlen. And I'm like, okay. I said, I'm off to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to go see if I can't find me some baskets and uh, get myself organized. Also too, if I can get the florals out of the way off of my shelving, then I can spread out on my shelving and get that organized as well. So I'm not sure how long this, uh, you know, when I'm gonna get going on this stuff or, or what, but I, it's really driving me crazy to have my garage in such a disarray and my basement in such disarray, and I really need to just get myself organized before the holidays start up again, and I'm gonna be picking and pulling at stuff in the holiday, you know, looking for holidays. So I'm not sure if I will get to the organi organizing until after I do my, uh, finish my series and then do my home tour, and then maybe after that, we'll start to do some organizing videos. So, but that's what I'm doing. I'm off to Hobby Lobby since it's a, you know, uh, wicker is on sale, their baskets and stuff. It's on sale this week. So I'm going to see what I can find and just poke around in there too and see what else I can see. I was just chatting with Danielle a minute ago and she was saying, hey, don't forget to check out the spring shop. It's 66% off. As I, and I was like, oh, hello. Yes, I will. I'll check that. So I'll poke around in there and see what I see. And, uh, you know, We'll, we'll go through Hobby Lobby a little bit and see what's what. So, or I will, and then I'll haul whatever I have when I get home. Now, I, this is one of the biggest hills. It always scares me. It doesn't scare me, but it's like a big hill. You have to put your brakes, brakes on, and there's always people pulling out and all that stuff. So, all right. I made it down the hill. Driving right along the Rappahannock River here. Uh, and it is beautiful and lush and just it is just beautiful. It's just beautiful. It's hot as the Dickens outside though and humid. Oh, look at my hair. I have nothing left of my hair. It's terrible, but it is pretty to look at. Beautiful to look at right now. So, but anyway, I hope y'all are doing all right today. I don't know what day this is going to be that I'll get this to you. Uh, I have a video for Monday, but I haven't edited it yet. So, 
maybe I'll put this up on Monday and then edit that one, which is my sideboard. Maybe I'll do that Tuesday and maybe we'll do four videos next week. If I can get this one, you know, in the can by Monday. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna hush up for now so that I have time to, to, to do the haul when I get home. So, I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Okay, bye for now. everyone I'm back home from my little trip to Hobby Lobby and as you can see I took some video coming home of that road I was telling you about isn't that pretty oh my goodness and then I just took a little video of us coming up the driveway <laughs> it is so stinking hot here you guys I am not even kidding it is hot and humid and it is just miserable as I said it looks pretty but it's just miserable Anyway, I did pick up a few things from Hobby Lobby and I do have a little bit of a haul here. And I also am going to do a bit of a chit chat with you guys. Ruby had asked me, uh, from Ruby's Cozy Corner, had asked me a few questions last week in one of my videos that I actually copied and pasted onto a sticky. Because I, I thought that her questions were questions that you guys might like to hear the answers to as well. So I thought, why don't I just add these a few questions, like uh, three, three or four questions. Oh. But anyway, I, you know, I thought that for those people who were subscribed and other creators here on YouTube who may be curious as to how I go about things over here, might be interested in how I answer these three questions. But first of all, I want to go ahead and start hauling what I got here. And uh, as I said, everything I bought was on sale except for one thing. Uh, the spring, all the spring shop stuff was 66% off. Uh, all of, I uh, got some candlesticks. All of their tabletop stuff was 50% off. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I did not sleep very well last night. Y'all, y'all know with this menopause business, I'm through it pretty much, but I still, you know, lay there and, you know, count sheep and think about what I'm going to do and, you know, everything I've got coming up and what I need to do. Oh my goodness, I'm a mess. So I was up like all night last night just thinking, <laughs> able to go to sleep. But anyway, let me start with what I was talking about when I was going in the car. And that was some baskets or some kind of containers that I can put my flowers, my florals in. So, as I said, I had gone all the way back to the to wicker stuff, you know, all their baskets and stuff for 50% off this week. So, I had picked up I had picked up a couple of their buckets. And if you are in Hobby Lobby and you look up and you see all the buckets that they hold their all of their florals in, it was the same same type of stuff. And actually when I picked it up, it almost looked like they had been used before by Hobby Lobby, had like glitter in the bottom of them, and I was like, "You know what? I'm not too thrilled about these, but this is what I'm looking for. And I did, you know, I picked up baskets and I picked up other containers. And I was like, I am not paying an arm and a leg and any other appendage for these baskets that I'm going to sit in my garage and are going to get dusty. I just, I just didn't want to pay that much. They were like $29, 50% off. That's $15. I'm still not paying $15, you know? So... I went ahead and I went over to the spring shop because I wanted to look in there anyway. And here they had some of these in the spring shop. And as you can see, I got three of this size, three of the bigger size. And they were $21.99 regular price and they were 66% off. So y'all do the math. I don't have my receipt here, but they were 66% off. Let me see if I can get them apart here and I can show you one of them. So I got three at this size and they don't have any glitter in them and they look perfectly new and fine and you know they're very lightweight but these are going to work out great for me to just put my my floral stems in and I got three of them so I thought I would you know separate things out by at least like colors you know 
So, and I'm not gonna be doing this down. I'm gonna sit, after I'm done with this haul, these are gonna go sit on top of that refrigerator out there and wait for me to finish my decor. Cause we're not gonna be doing any organizing quite yet. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. I've got to finish <laughs> my decorating before I start my organizing or I am gonna get all discombobulated and I'll never finish my decor, you know, so. All of these things are in preparation for what I will do. So I got those three, three of this size, $21.99, 66% off of $21.99. And I got one of this size and it was $17.99. Pretty good size. And then I got one smaller one. And I, I had to, they, she had to go, uh, figure out how much this was. I think it was 13, 14 99, 13 or 14 99 is what she said. So 66% off of that. So I got those four baskets. Plus I have some plastic bins already outside, you know, that I use. So I think I have, I think I have plenty now to, I think I also have another basket of a kind of a flat basket. I used to keep Gracie's toys in it actually. <laughs> And Sam has never been one to play with toys. So there he is, by the way, over there. He's sound, sound asleep right there on the floor. Uh, sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. All right, so let me go through uh, the other things that I purchased real quick. It's not much, trust me. As I said, their candlesticks were 50% off this week. And so I purchased just a couple of these. And what I use these for is... Uh, these were $9.99, so $5 a piece. I use these inside of my lanterns a lot just to lift my candles up, you know, or a bird or something else. Or I use these in like tray centerpieces and set, I use this stuff for a myriad of things and I don't have enough of these, just very simple uh, candle holders, you know. So I got two. And then I got two more candle holders and I already have two like this uh, and I have one of each size. So I figured I'd buy another one of each size. That way I'd have a pair of each. <laughs> my brain, my brain works. I'm telling you like, like weirdly, but here they are. Just two cream colored candlesticks. This one was $16.99 and this one was $14.99. So 50% off. I spent a total of $96, just to tell you that. And I just got paid and every, and I know you guys who are my regulars are gonna say, Arlene, you don't have to say how much you spend and you don't have to explain your channel to people and it's not anybody's business how you spend your money because it's your money and it is my money and it is money that I make. But I just wanted to say for any anybody out there who may be having a thought, oh my goodness, she's buying this but Anyway, stuff. every penny I make, I turn around and I put back into this this channel and trust me I don't make a lot <laughs> but what I do make I anyway I did buy two things of ribbon ribbon is also 50% off this week so I got well and I'll explain why I got these you're like Arlen what are you gonna be doing with this ribbon and I'm not sure I'm gonna be doing anything with either one but I had a thought that I'm not, not together I'm not gonna be using them together and I'll show you what why I picked them up here in a second but let me finish my haul first. I, in the spring shop, Lisa Sigardia, I think girl, I think I saw this on your Instagram one time. Uh, this lady, I just thought she was absolutely beautiful. I think you have her and the little blue lady that I have too. Uh, or you may have a couple of these, I don't know, but I just think she is just beautiful. I have a purple bedroom upstairs that she may, you know, take residence in up there. Uh, and I may bring her out for the spring, but I, I thought that how pretty would she look as an accent piece in my purple bedroom upstairs? She's such a pretty lady. And this, she's out of the spring shop and she was, oh y'all, I'm so sorry. Y'all ever have the experience that if you don't put your glasses on in the morning, then you might not need them so much during the day. But if you put your glasses on first thing in the morning, forget it, you're doomed for the rest of the day. That's me. And I had my glasses on doing my comments and stuff this morning and she, I'm blind as a bat. Okay, this was, she was $40 to begin with, but 66% off. So again, you do the math. I am not a mathematician and I don't have the receipt. So, but anyway, I just thought she was super, super pretty in her purple. 
she, these ladies put me in the mind of my willow tree figurines, y'all know. And I just, I just have a real affinity for this type of thing. And I love the florals on, on her skirt. I just think she's so pretty. So 66% off. Pretty lady. You know, now that I think about it, I, I almost want to go back and get another one. Because wouldn't she be pretty if I ever decided to do like purples instead of pinks, you know, it, for springtime or something one year. And she would be pretty one flanking up on my mantle. I might go tomorrow and try to pick up another one of these. I just thought of that. Why did I think about that when I was in Hobby Lobby? <laughs> anyway, I thought she was super pretty. Super, super pretty. Okay, then uh, I wanted to show you this. I had hauled this a while back, but I wanted to refresh your memories. After the 4th of July, I'm going to be switching out my mailbox decor uh, and my front porch decor, you know, and I, this is my next mailbox cover that I'm going to put on. And it's just, uh, you know, jars with uh, florals in them, you know, that are just daisies, summer. It looks like a summer garden, kind of. So I bought, I picked up, this, the florals were not on sale this week, and I used my 40% coupon for this. And I don't know how much it was. I don't know where the... Boy, she knew right away how much it was. Oh, here we go. It was $9.99, so 50% off. So $5 for this whole thing. So this will go in and in the trough in the back, you know. And I might like to make a uh, bow but the more I thought about it, which this would look cute, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, even a funky bow just out of this, that would be cute, you know? And I had picked this up too. I don't like this as much. But the, a funky bow out of that would be cute, huh? That might be cute. Because there's some purple in this, look. And I took my, one more thing, I've only got one more thing. I took, now I've got two more things, but one more thing from Hobby Lobby. I took my spring wreath down. I'm telling y'all, my florals held up beautifully. My, my uh, buffalo check, funky bow held up beautifully. What did not hold up was that metal sign. I put a metal sign on there that I got from Hobby Lobby that said, welcome spring or hello spring, something like that. And it did not hold up well. I was a metal sign, just one of their, you know, plain metal signs. So I thought, well, shucks, that doesn't look good. I could have left the wreath hanging out there and it would look fine for the rest of summer, you know, just hanging out there with the, and I may just take that sign off, but I did pick up this sign. I think this may be a little big, but I thought it's almost like a cork board and I thought it might hold up better than a, you know, than a metal anything. So I did pick this up and I'm going to put it with the, uh, with that wreath and see if it, I can't fit it on there. And if I can, I may just hang that wreath back up for the rest of summer with this on it, you know. If not, I'll find someplace else to put this or maybe make another wreath next year using this as inspiration. Maybe a uh, grapevine wreath, big grapevine wreath for my front door or something, something different, you know, with this. But I, this was 66% off of $19.99 and I just, it was the only one they had left. I was like, and I was looking at it. It's like one of those times, you know, you're standing there and I'm looking, should I or shouldn't I, should I or shouldn't I? And I'm like, if you're sitting here talking to yourself like this, Arlen, you should. Just go ahead and just bite the bullet and just do it, girl. <laughs> so I did. I picked it up. So I thought it was cute. Hello, Summer. And that's it. That's all I got from Hobby Lobby. Although it was, like I said, $92, whatever it was. Uh, but I got a lot, you know. And I'm really excited about these baskets, you know, to get some organi organization in my life a little bit out there in the garage. Much needed. Much, 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 much needed. All right, I wanted to show you one more thing before I answer my questions here. And that is this pillow cover. This I put it in a pillow form, a 16-inch pillow form. I had purchased this to go in my patriotic decor and I'll set it someplace you'll see it in my home tour wherever I choose to to put it I'm not sure where it'll end up and it's just the Pledge of Allegiance I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all I love 
our pledge. So I thought it was really cute. Got it off of Amazon, but it came from China. <laughs> I was like, you got, I didn't know that when I bought it. And I was like, what's China doing? Uh, never mind. We're not going political here. We don't do politics on my channel ever. So don't even go there, you guys. But I'm just like, how, why? It was shipped for free from China. Go figure. I don't know. <laughs> but I got it from Amazon. I got this from Amazon Prime. So, but I had to wait forever for it to come in. It wasn't like, you know, two day shipping or anything. So, anyway, I thought that was really pretty. And it will go somewhere over there, somehow, somewhere. Some something. I have every space full, so I'm not sure where it'll go. So, but anyway, that's that. But, all right, now let's go ahead and get to Ruby's questions, which I thought were, were really good questions. This lady here. My computer went to sleep on me. Okay. Her comment that I will just, you know, maybe I'll read through her comment. Bless her heart, you all probably read it, some of you. But she said, love how your bedroom is looking. Oh, it was on my bedroom. That's, that's the video it was on, on our master bedroom. And we'll give you an eye card for that one. That bedding is so pretty. The colors of everything are so soft and calming. You have created a really beautiful haven, which is so pretty and welcoming and have pulled all the colors and textures together so beautifully. The carpet just completes the look perfectly. And I smiled at your shoe collection. <laughs> Which is like mine, and honestly, as a wheelchair user and housebound person, a couple of pairs would be more than plenty for me. But I still can't help myself when I see a pair I love. I also love buying shoes for my plushie and doll babies, which is a whole nother story. Uh, but it shows the extent of my, quote, problem, unquote. She's cute. I have to say that all of your decorating videos and series and series the fall and Christmas ones are my absolute favorites as those are my favorite seasons and the ones I always use to go right over the top with when I was still well enough to decorate my home. I just love the way everything you create seems to be infused with the magic of the seasons and it's lovely seeing your home so filled with warmth and sparkle. I'm still a newbie here on your channel but I've been binge watching your past videos and just enjoy them all so much. There are a couple of thoughts I've had while watching, and it may well be that you've already covered these in videos I've not yet watched. Now, y'all see me tearing up in this. That's not fake, you all. That's real. I don't, I can't help myself when I read your words like this. And this is another reason why I wanted to, to say something here. When I read your words, when I read the, the heartfelt words from you guys, that you take your time out of your busy day to, to, to watch my stuff and then you take extra time to write out a comment like this. Thank you so much, and thank you, Ruby, for this beautiful comment. Thank you so much, you all. It just touches my very soul. It really does. It really does. But anyway, okay, here's her questions. Number so one. here's number one. She said, I love your chit chat video so much and was wondering if you had any hints or tips you could share, if you haven't already, about how you schedule and plan your decorating ideas. Uh, I really don't, Ruby. I'll tell you, it's very organic how I, 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 I just now, basically go through the seasons. And if I see something that inspires me, for instance, with my blue and white decor this year, I had found that placemat and, at, and that. And that placemat is what I am building that entire decor around in my living room and dining room and foyer. Uh, plus, Danielle... Uh, Danielle's decor has really inspired me too with her blue and white decor. She does a beautiful job, Danielle does, and she's inspired me too. I keep telling her, I'm not copying you, Danielle, but boy, I love what you're doing. And when I found that, it's like it all came together when I found that placemat. So sometimes I'll just come across something like that, you know, and go, oh my goodness, would I ever love to build a room around this? Oh, I love that color, like the purple in this girl. That's inspiring me, you know, a lot. How would I love to make like a vignette around this girl? I mean, that would just really be beautiful somewhere. I don't really have any purple other than in the purple bedroom and nobody ever sees it, you know, up there. 
So, but she would inspire me. So it just, it, it's, it can be an array of things, you know? It can be watching other YouTubers. Liz inspires me, Kim inspires me, Kim at My Feathered Nest inspires me, Dee inspires me, Susan at Susan's Cozy Condos uh, inspires me. Another one, if you haven't checked her out, uh, RJ Mailer, she's wonderful. She's wonderful, and I could go on and on. I don't wanna miss anybody. Uh, I, don't wanna, I don't wanna leave anybody out. But uh, Tracy over there at Secondhand Tracy Ann, she does wonderful things with trash to try. I mean, she does trash to treasure. And she makes things beautiful, you guys, I'm telling you. So, you know, a lot of people inspire me. I'm not a Pinterest looker. I don't really go on Pinterest. I, I, I don't know, I've never done that. I, I'm kind of old. <laughs> So I guess I've really never been one to, you know, to peruse around Pinterest too much. Um, you know, so probably not that. But yeah, I get inspired by an array of things, by different things. And that's um, what inspires me. And then how I schedule myself is I, I just basically, I'm very, I'm a very methodical person. I'm very organized in my life, in my everyday life. I do the same things every day, day in and day out. And I have a, a section of time each day that I set aside for my crafting or my decorating. And I always have done that anyway before I had my YouTube channel. So it's kind of um, really fallen into even more of a habit of mine to come home after Chris and I go to lunch, as I've told you guys every day. Don't hate on me, please, for that. <clears throat> we budget for that. <clears throat> excuse me, and we go to lunch. And then when we get home from lunch, he goes and he does his stuff, wherever it is he's doing it, and I do my crafting or my decorating. And as I go through my house, I normally start at my mantle and my hearth, and I go through the, the house in the same methodical way every time. Very rarely will you see me hop around from the kitchen to the back to the family room and from the family room to a bathroom. Or for, you know, I will go through... The living or the family room first every every little vignette the cozy corner the Chris credenza the hearth the mantle the you know every little place in there and then i usually move to the ivy table and then i usually move into the kitchen and i do the kitchen windows and then i do the then sinks my soul lantern and then i do my three-tiered tray then i do the top of the desk you know and i move around methodically like that throughout this whole section of the house don't ask me why I do that. It just makes me feel good to be organized like that and to do that. So, and then I move over to the front of the house, the living room, the dining room, and the foyer, and I work in there. Not as methodically in there, but I do, I do, do work pretty methodically too. Anyway, so that's number one. Number two, do you stick, well, I just kind of explained this. Do you stick to a fairly structured plan or keep things more fluid? She says, I know I keep myself awake at night, sometimes scheming and dreaming of what I'd like to create around my home. And then when I'm looking in stores, usually online, I'm like a child in a sweet shop and can't decide what I want to do as there are so many lovely things to choose from. One thing about my house is, is you will notice, Ruby, as you watch more of my videos or that you might have already figured out, and for those of you who are new might have already figured out, as I have, in my blog years and years ago, I was talking to my dear friend Liz, who is no longer with us. She passed away of ALS uh, last October. And she had, I was talking to her one day and I said, I need to figure out something to call all of the pieces of my decor that I leave in my decor all the time. And, and as I was writing a blog one day, I came up with staple pieces. So I have staple pieces in my decor that remain in my decor and that I decorate and redecorate as each season passes. For instance, this three-tiered tray. For instance, my lantern centerpiece over there. I use the same lantern, the same tray, usually the same candle in there, and I build my lantern centerpiece. I just change it up to make for the season by changing out the accent pieces. You know, so I have staple pieces throughout my decor. Uh, you know, and I could sit here all day and list my staple pieces, like the ladder in my cozy corner, for instance. You know, that's a staple piece over there. The picture that I have hanging on the 
on the cozy corner I love. And I don't know that I'll be changing that out even for Christmas this year. I might make a new little design around that sign, which I love. So, you know, but, you know, in that way, I am very structured, you know. And I don't really stray too much in my colors, although the blue and white is kind of new for me. Uh, but in this part of the house, in this area of the house, I usually stick with my burgundies and reds and deeper jewel colors, you know, because I really, that's kind of my heart. I really like that, even though I love the lighter and airier colors, and I really enjoy working with those. I'm not sure that I would want that throughout my house, just because I have dark furniture and, uh, you know, I like kind of bold decor sometimes, y'all. So, anyway. So there we go. Number three, do you go to a store with a particular item in mind or you're decorating or do you tend to get things as you see them knowing that you will use them for a project in the future? Usually, like I did today, usually when I go shopping, I have something in my mind that I want to buy. I very rarely go in willy-nilly. Today, to be honest with you, Chris is out of town today. Uh, he's, never mind. <laughs> He's, he's fishing with my dad, you know, and Stacy's dad. So he's out of town for a little while. So today I just went and I just tutored around in there. I just tutored around and I just spent time looking and, and, and usually I'm kind of hurrying because he's waiting for me in the car, you know, and I don't want to keep him waiting. And it saves me money just to go in and get only what I went for too, y'all. So, but anyway... Uh, so I guess that's all of her questions. So I just wanted to take some time to touch base on those because I thought they were important and pertinent questions. And it was easier for me just to tell her this way and you all, and it gave me something to chit chat with y'all about, <laughs> which I love. So I am gonna put out a call for you guys though, to you guys though, if you would like me to do a, uh, Q&A, I haven't done one in a long time, and I put a call out about a month or so ago, and I didn't really get any questions. I think I've got one recorded down. Uh, so if and you if you'd like to, uh, you know, me to answer some more questions, if you have any questions about my, uh, me or my family or my home, somebody did ask me to tell uh, Chris and my story, which I won't do here today, but I will certainly, I could absolutely do that. I love to share that story. So... You know, but if you have any other questions, you know, I'll take the first 20 that come in, how about, and then I'll do a video just on the, on those first 20 questions. How about that? So we'll see how that goes. But I guess that's it for this one, you guys. It's kind of been a hodgepodge of a little video to hear here today. And this was not my planned Monday video, but I think I'll put it up on Monday. And tomorrow I'll try to get my, uh, my sideboard up and then probably take, uh, um, I might do something for Wednesday. I haven't yet, so I'm not sure what will come yet. I'll either skip Wednesday or put something up on Wednesday. I'm not sure. So, anyway, regardless, <laughs> I will shut this down. See, I'm really discombobulated. I'm not st real structured for this week coming up. So that's actually it's a good thing for me not to be so structured, because with with being so structured comes my angst sometimes when I don't look at me. I'm having a hot flash. I'm having a hot flash. Look at that, look at my face. I look like at my chest. Oh my goodness, you all. <gasps> I don't get many, I don't get many. I need, some, I need a fan. I don't have anything to fan myself. <gasps> I will be so glad, I'm not sure these are ever gonna stop, y'all. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much through everything else, but every now and again I get a hot, a hot flash. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> sorry about my face. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. <laughs> Again, discombobulated. She whiz. So let me just say that, you know, thank you all so much for stopping in here and visiting with me for a little while. Thank you so much uh, for, for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I so appreciate that. Uh, for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. 
I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single solitary day. And with all of that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.